Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michael, aka The Crusher, and today we're going to try something new. Like, we've done SBCs, we've done pack openings, we've done uh, rewards, etc. Season 3 info. Now we're going to do my top 10 list. This time it's going to be the top 10 home kits available in FIFA 21. So before we go in it, I'll just go quickly show uh, some content from this evening, which landed at 6 p.m. First one being the Bundesliga uh, league play. We'll be seeing it with uh, Premier League, Serie A league. Currently now we've got Bundesliga, and it is a uh, Sink Graven, uh, the fullback, 91 pace, 88 dribbling, 83 passing, 82 defending, 76 physical. Decent. So you got to win 15 matches using the Bundesliga players and start 11. Score 30 goals using Bundesliga players. Assist 20 goals using Bundesliga players. Assist across. Assist with a cross using Bundesliga players in four separate matches and score finesse goal in six separate matches. So, fairly straightforward, easy to grind, uh, but that is that on objectives. And then SBCs, we've got some new icons to do. And they are Fabio Cannavaro, which looks amazing. Uh, JJ Kocha and Roberto Carlos. I'm going to try and do that Cannavaro one over Team of the Year. So we'll have 150 packs to open. I think we're going to get some fodder if we don't get any Team of the Years. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the video now. And starting at number 10 is a kit that I was using the other day. Um, if you have been watching these videos. And it, we are going to Italy. And I think they're in Serie B. Uh, where are you? Where is it? It's down there somewhere. Hmm, where is it? Are they in Syria? I thought they were in Syria B. Hmm. Let's keep finding it. There we go. Calcio B. It's longer than I wanted to then, uh, but it's the Lesse or Lecce, I'm not too sure how you pronounce it, uh, home kit. Uh, because the red and white, I like how it blends on the chest. And then when you look towards the back, I think that looks really nice as well in terms of how it displays the number. Uh, and then rejoins the stripes uh, just underneath that six there on my silver Sambia, as well as the shorts, like see the pattern um, on the side there. So that is in at number 10. Uh, now let's go to number 9 on the list, and we're going to lead to with a club that is, I think, partially owned by Hector Bellerin at the moment. Uh, and they are known for being vegan as well, and it is Forest Green. And this is the green zebra print kit. Uh, so obviously United had that uh, white zebra print kit, which I don't think is in-game, or I've not seen in-game. They have an away version quite similar to this, just white instead of green, but there's not many green kits on the market, uh, especially like, nice green kits, and I think this one is actually quite nice and makes you stand out with the, uh, the zebra print. And yeah, I've not seen anyone use this so far so that's at number nine in at number eight we're off to china and we are going to where are they jangsu suning the home kit a nike version that pattern is absolutely delightful on it as it goes from blue into the orange orange and blue socks i right, look at the back of it as well i really like how it looks it, it it's very very good like when I eventually start playing, playing pro clubs on this game, that's the template that I'm going to start off with the kits. In at number seven, we are going to Portugal. And we are going to Ferenc with their version of their home kit with a little lion on, which I think is that extra touch, which makes it that ever so much nicer and why it is in my top 10 list. Obviously, the half and half white and black. Uh, into black shorts with the white trim at the back and then black with a uh, white hoop trim at the top. Nice Adidas number with the gold badge and gold Adidas logo name and number on the back. Yeah, so I really, really like this kit just in terms of how simple it is. But then I added a little touch of that lion on the, uh, the right-hand side there. Number six is a kit that is probably the only real popular club in my top 10 list uh, and that is in the Bundesliga. And it is Borussia Dortmund. I got this kit for the objectives. I think it was like two months ago now. Uh, the Puma number. Also we've seen black and yellow stripes. Now it is uh, bold yellow with then the black sort of lightning bolts across the chest. Uh, and not on the back. So I like how it's just out there. Like I remember when it was released in the summer. And yeah, that was top of everyone's list in terms of kits they want to buy just in real life. But yeah, in terms of FIFA, that is in at number six. The number five, we are going to the second tier of Spain. 
I'm going to Malaga. Quite similar to Dortmund in the fact that they, what I remember, always used to have the light blue and white stripes, whereas this time it's again half and half. But one and a half is the sort of the pale blue electric bolts, which I just think look ridiculously nice in game. Um, on the back, it's quite simple, but just how eccentric that front of the shirt is, uh, is why I've included that in my list. Number four is quite a popular kit on FIFA. I think you're going to spend about 4.5k on it. So it's quite expensive if you want to get it, and that is Kaiser Chiefs. I think in like FIFA 17 or 18, I had this in my home kit, whichever version I had back then, and I think this one with the sort of jagged pattern from black into the sort of the pale orange, and then the rest of the kit is orange with the sort of black trim on the side, and then uh, the top of the socks. I think this one is really nice. I think I love Vodacom sponsor sits as well. It makes it look really nice in game two. That is at number four. Number three, we're going over to Turkey. I'm going to Galatasaray. I've used this kit many a time in this FIFA already. Just the way the orange and the red blend in, that it's such a unique pattern on the chest. And then the extra touch is the socks. So you have the vertical blend, but that's the horizontal blend uh, on the socks. And yeah, even on the back, you get that blend, but not a full blend, so you can actually see the name and number. So yeah, that is in at number three. The second one on my list, it will go on to the MLS for Rail Salt Lake. Nice Adidas number, you're having the touch the Adidas on the right shoulder with the three blue stripes. And then I don't know how to describe that pattern apart from a bit wacky, but I always think wacky equals good. Like even when I was playing as a kid, I always made sure I had like the bright colours for the goalkeeper kit, and that's why I've included that one in this one. And then in at number one, drum roll please, we are going for the German second tier, VfL Onzebrook. I think I pronounced that right. Hopefully I did, and I've chosen this because when I was a kid I used to watch Dream Team, and of course, Harchester United, the team there, they had a purple kit. I always used to love it, I obviously they used Millwall highlights with a sort of filter on, when they were showing match action. But yeah, I think this is one of the few purple numbers in, like on the back it looks like the Harchester kit, but then even on the front, just the way the pattern is, it stands out, and I think in game, this is the number one kit for me. Number one home kit especially. Uh, I'm going to do videos on uh, the top 10 away kits and the top 10 third kits in the coming weeks. So that is all we've got time for today. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like down below. Comment on if you've got any of these kits or if you've used any or if this list has been useful for yourself. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.